Hey, come here. Come closer. Closer. Look, here's the deal. If you do 1099 work, you can and should write off your business expenses, even if you're taking the standard deduction. I'm gonna tell you why, and it's going to blow your mind. What's up guys, my name is Tyra and if you are a small business owner, self-employed person or gig worker, welcome to Keeper Tax, your one-stop shop for all things 1099 taxes. Here on this channel, we create resources for freelancers, independent contractors, gig workers and anyone else who should be filing business taxes. Welcome to Tax Myths, where I debunk random tax rules that you may have heard out here in these streets. These myths that we will discuss in this segment have been plaguing gig workers and freelancers forever, and honestly, they're just so confusing. But as you know, I am here to give you the tax content you need to set yourself up for success. In today's video, we'll be talking about the standard deduction and what it means for self-employed people. And honestly, the bottom line is, you should always be tracking your business expenses because you'll always be taxed on your 1099 income. Let's dive in because we have a lot to cover. Before we dive in deep, let's talk about the standard deduction. The standard deduction is a tax write-off that every single American gets. It's $12,000 for single filers as of 2021. If you work a W-2 job, you don't get taxed if your W-2 income is less than $12,000. But for us self-employed people, we do still need to pay taxes on our 1099 income even if it's less than $12,000. And a lot of us don't know that. Some self-employed people think since they're making less than the standard deduction amount that they are covered. And I can personally attest to this, but the truth is this is not the case at all. If you think this, you are getting your personal deductions confused with business deductions. There are two types of itemized deductions, personal and business. Personal deductions are things like charitable donations, property taxes, and medical expenses. The standard deduction trades off with personal itemized deductions. That means if you have less than $12,000 in itemized personal deductions, then you shouldn't bother tracking those because it would be better to just claim the standard deduction anyway. But on the other hand, if you have business deductions, these are tax deductions related to your 1099 work, like your home office expenses and business meals. You claim these business deductions on top of the standard deduction. Oh, my mind is blown. Let me just say this again. Your business expenses, like your car expenses, your phone bill, home office expenses, meals with clients, and so on and so forth, can be written off on top of that standard deduction. Let me give you guys an example of how this works. So let's say you earn $50,000, but 45,000 of it is from W-2 jobs and only 5,000 of it is from 1099 work that you do on the side, driving Uber on the weekends or renting out a room on Airbnb. In this case, you'll still owe around $1,500 in taxes on your 1099 income. This wouldn't be covered by that standard deduction. Now, that's a lot of money, but if you keep track of your 1099 expenses and claim your itemized business deductions, you can bring this number way down. Even something small like parking fees for $10 per week could be over $200 back in your pocket at the end of the year. I'ma let that sink in. The bottom line is you guys, you should always, always, always track your 1099 expenses even if you only work 1099 jobs part-time and that is why the keeper tax app is here to help we do have a link down to it in our description box down below now if you are watching this video and you don't know which of your 1099 expenses are deductible check out my 1099 tax university videos where I break it down to the basics for you you can find all of those videos in a playlist on our channel and we also link them down below now 
If your mind was blown by this episode, comment down below some mind blown emojis. And please let me know if you have any questions about anything I mentioned in this video. That is all that I have for you guys today. If you would like more easy to digest tax content, make sure that you give this video a like. And if you are not already subscribed, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button down below and make sure your notifications are on so you can stay up to date on all things self-employed taxes. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.